This past week, we devoted our attention to learning about major battery management system functions as part of the preparation to learn how to design battery management system algorithms. We looked at an overview of what a battery management system is required to do. And we looked at five basic categories of what a battery management system must do, including sensing and high voltage control and performance management and communications and so forth. We also looked at some design considerations for how the battery pack is designed in its own electronic architecture and what implications that has on the battery management system electronics uh, as maybe a master slave design. We looked in more detail at the first of the five BMS requirements, which has to do with sensing and high voltage control. We asked, what are the sensing requirements of a BMS and how does the BMS meet those requirements? Specifically, we looked at the voltage sensing capability requirements and how that can be met using analog to digital converters. And you learned how to select an analog to digital converter by looking at resolution requirements and accuracy requirements and sample rate requirements. You learned how to measure temperature using either thermocouples or thermistors co combined with the analog to digital converters. And you saw how to measure electrical current using either a current shunt or a Hall effect sensor. You learned how a battery management system safely connects and disconnects from a load and how to determine whether the battery pack is properly isolated from the chassis of the vehicle. And finally, we looked very briefly at what a battery management system needs to know regarding thermal management. Next week, you will continue to learn about the major battery management system functions. We continue by looking at each requirement that has already been identified and studying these requirements in more detail in order. So we start by looking at the second requirement, which has to do with protection, and ask what do we need to do to protect, uh, uh, to protect the battery pack and to protect the user? How do we actually do it? We look at the third requirement of interface and ask what must the battery management system interface with and how does it do it? We look at the fourth requirement of performance management, and this includes an induction, introduction to state of charge and total energy and available power estimation. And finally, we look at the diagnostics requirement, which includes an introduction to state of health estimation. So congratulations for making it to this point, and I look forward to uh, talking with you again next week about these additional BMS requirements.